We can now bring in Sergei Petovic, a former Ukrainian Deputy Minister of Justice and European Integration. Thank you very much for joining us here on France 24. Are you uh, hopeful about the negotiations that are currently taking place between the Ukrainian side and the Russians uh, in Belarus? I don't think anyone in Ukraine expects much from these uh, negotiations because uh, we know the Russian position, which is pretty much saying that we have to capitulate. And this is definitely not accepted by anyone here. I think uh, Ukrainians are having high morale and are ready to continue defending our country. And uh, our, our way of approaching this negotiation is that Russia should stop aggression straight away and get their troops out of Ukraine. Well, at least those that are still alive um, and uh, it seems that at this point of time, this is not something that Putin is prepared to do, because that would mean a complete failure for him. That would mean that he will lose his power in Russia domestically. So I'm sure that we will see more of uh, different types of talks until you know we see the Ukrainian prevalence on the ground become evident to everyone in Russia itself. You know, today we had uh, Ukraine's president who has asked uh, for a fast track to EU membership. Do you think Vladimir Putin ha has shot himself in the foot uh, and underestimated how, firstly, Ukraine would, would do in, in, in his invasion? The fact that the resistance has been pretty fierce and they haven't uh, taken control of any of the main cities yet. And also how the proximity uh, Ukraine would have to, to Europe and to NATO. Absolutely. Look, I mean, he wanted a beautiful little war, you know, to be ended within hours with Kiev capitulating. This never happened. This never came, you know, came, came true. You know, there are no Ukrainians waving Russian flags and meeting Russian tanks on the streets. And also he had underestimated the European response. I mean, we see a dramatic change in the EU position. EU is financing uh, the arms for, uh, for Ukraine. We've seen Germany uh, saying that they're going to be a militarized nation. They are investing extra 100 million euro, billion euros this year. So I think Putin has just miscalculated about anything about the whole uh, situation. I think he managed to isolate Russia, you know, within a couple of days from all over the world. I mean, they literally cannot fly out of their country. They literally cannot trade they literally have no support in the civilized world. And I think that is the, uh, the main outcome of this war already. And that's why I think he already lost this war. I, I want to ask you about the European response, because the EU was pretty slow to, to, to respond in the first day of the war. We, we saw that uh, they were slow to, to enact, to, to kick Russia off the Russian banks out of the SWIFT uh, banking system. But over the weekend, it seemed to have ramped up its response in terms of uh, blocking Russian uh, carriers from European airspace, etc. Uh, what do you make of the European response? Because on, on the first day, Ukrainians felt alone. Yeah, um, I, I think... EU has been always catching up with the new uh, security threats presented by Russia. I think at this point, it's, it makes sense for EU to do more to stop future raising of stakes by Putin. I, I'm, I think everybody is here welcome to hear Ursula von der Leyen saying that Ukraine will become an EU member sometimes in the future. I just think that this sometimes should come this year, exactly. Uh, just for, I just want to uh, jump in there for argument's sake. Let's just say at these discussions which are, which are taking place right now, the Russians come and say, OK, we'll stop with this invasion of Ukraine, provided we get guarantees of your non-aligned status. Is that something the Ukrainians could entertain? Well, look, look. at first, no one trusts Putin. I mean, whatever he says will not be trusted by anyone in Ukraine. So I don't think his word is worth anything. I think that uh, it either has to be guarantees from other third parties and third states. It has to be a physical removal of his troops from all the territory of Ukraine. And at this point, I don't think anyone is happy about neutral status. It means nothing to us. That means uh, being exposed to Russian aggression at any point of time. So I just can't see this happening. I can't see this being accepted by Ukrainians. I mean, we're not stupid. You know, we've seen Russia signing a Budapest memorandum in 1994 guaranteeing Ukrainian independence and sovereignty, and then blatantly violating it in 2014 and again this year. 
Again, I don't think anyone trusts anything that Russians or Putin would say or even put in writing. We know that, you know, uh, any treaty signed by Russia is not worth the paper uh, it's written on. We'll see how the, the negotiations, uh, negotiations uh, developed. Uh, we're going to have to leave it there, Sergei uh, Petukov. Thank you very much for joining us on the program today.